ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season premiere of Aftershock. I have chosen eight sirens to compete in the gauntlet tonight, where the winner will become the number one contender to the Sirens World Championship, and will get their title match at our newest pay-per-view, TKS Revelation. So she was eliminated by Rachel a bit earlier in the gauntlet. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Two. Two. And we have a number one contender. Any woman who can stand in front of me face to face, come on out here. Tween is going to be the woman that is going to be taking work on for a health hats title here right now on Aftershock. Oh my! Oh, oh what? she's tapping. We, ha I, I oh think my. we have a new Hellcats champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Border Whores are now bringing in their rematch clause, and we're getting another tag team championship match right now. That's that's it. That's all she wrote. What a better way to have a memorable show than to have Larissa Demendez defend her Siren World Championship? against none other than Juliana. Oh, and no, oh with the Nakanchi, is that seriously going to be it? No. One, no. two, two, three. Uh. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of TKS Aftershock here in Cleveland, Ohio. As always, I'm Kane Michael. And he's always joined by yours truly, Brad Maple. And as we saw the little recap from the last episode of Aftershock and we're left with a bunch of questions. Yes, yeah, so much went down in the very first episode to get things kicked off in the season. And honestly, at this point, you'd think we'd be a bit more prepared for that considering the track history we have here in Toronaka Society. But we always seem to be left more than dumbfounded. Well, exactly, you know, you see Rachel Reigns coming down to the ring, and as you saw, you know, in our Tokyo Japan special, you know, she got to face off against Juliana, and also, she had, she's been having problems with this woman right here, Asia, and it, she was single-handedly the reason why she ended up losing the gauntlet match. That's exactly robbed her of a Sirens World Championship opportunity, and, yeah, I mean, that's gonna leave a chip on anybody's shoulder, no matter who you are. And I think knowing Rachel, we're going to hear a lot of attitude from her right now. TKS Universe. I, I know it's been a while since you've all heard from me. And we can all agree that we weren't necessarily on the best terms. By that, I mean I had become an egotistical jerk who lost focus on what was important. But that's all in the past. What's important is you guys. You guys are the fuel that keeps my fire burning and the reason I continue to be a part of this business. I'm here to represent the voices. The voices of the women who strive to be something in life. But what we saw last week in that gauntlet match was not what should be represented in this business. The not-so-great Asia had to come and stick her big nose into business where it did not belong. She claims to be such a modest woman, but in reality, she's just another coward under a mask who has to hide behind her brolic boyfriend. And the next time I see her... Well, I guess we're not going to have to wait all night for this. Definitely not. We hear the next time she sees her and she was cut off, but um, maybe she may not even have to speak it into existence. We might just see a little bit of a preview of what we can expect between the clash of these two women right here and right now. And, you know, we can talk about Asia. You know, she's had an amazing track record thus far, and you know, she's been destroying a lot of people just like her partner Zeta Ion has, and it, she's one of the few people to get the upper hand against Rachel Reigns. That's exactly we did not see Rachel ever caught off guard by too many women, but Asia has had her number. Rachel. Let me tell you something. You do not get to come here and play the little victim. Last week you stood in the way of my opportunity. 
and it only seems fit that I take what you took from me. But listen, let us reevaluate what you're trying to say here. First of all, I am the great Asia, the absolute best you and these moronic people here will ever have the pleasure of viewing. And you will do well to remember that. You claim that I am a coward from the deep mask, but yet you are known for being just that. I am sure it was you standing in the middle of this ring, revealing your true intention behind the mask at inception. Do not trample into games with me. You can fool all these people, but not me. Asia, you seem to have forgotten the entire point of this conversation. In that gauntlet match, I made you tap out, and it wasn't my first time. You're clearly jealous. You're jealous and bitter. Just admit it. Admit that you can't handle being beaten by a better woman. So you thought coming back down that ramp in those rags you wear and interfering in my match will make us some sort of equal, huh? That is where you're dead wrong. You open up a door that you can't close. So how about you lift that sheet and we can finish this face to face? I'm, I'm sorry. D did you say jealous? Me. Jealous. Of the likes of you. You must have taken some in back to the head recently because you are beyond delusional. When you look at me, you see true greatness, true force and a true conqueror of this division. You are just some washed up, old, small, quite annoying woman. You are nothing in comparison to me, the great Asia. And what happened last week was just me letting you know that you are beneath me in every way possible. You will never want a pain. Ever. Whoa! Oh. Oh. And we saw Zeta. Oh, Zeta yes. making her way through the crowd and God is yanking Rachel out of the ring. And oh uh, no. Oh no, this is already bad already. No, I think she's going. No no no, she's done it! Do it! Oh, oh my! Power uh, bomb like Asia's that she did to her in Siren Subversion. And she, come on, this is not what we were out here for. God and Rachel just literally being ragdolled around here by Zeta, and now she has been thrown into the ring where Asia is patiently awaiting. Oh, and it looks she, like uh, we're gonna get oh. the double team right now. Of Asia and Zeta just having. Everything against Rachel oh. Reigns right now. Just toying with her in the ring. It, she's out here all alone. It, and I don't think anybody in that locker room is going to come out and help her. God, I don't know if she has too many friends after her recent behavior, you know. Oh. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is wait, that what? Tesla Vendetta, we have not seen her since season two. What is she doing here? I, I think she's out here to help out her old friend, but... Like you said, we haven't seen her here since season two. She hasn't... Wow. I... What the hell's going on? I think that Asia and Zeta are just as... Baffled by oh. her appearance. Oh! Hit her with a huge neck breaker on that ramp. And oh, her and Zeta now. Oh! Hit her with a huge clothesline. Taking it right to the bigger woman in Zeta. We know Tesla's not one to back down from anybody. Oh, she, yeah, she never backs down from any challenge. Even one like Zeta, oh, hitting her out to the floor. God, and just like that, the odds are even. Tesla coming to the aid of Rachel Reigns to help put a stop to the torment Zeta and Asia were putting her through. God, I can only imagine that Rachel had this up her sleeve the whole time, and maybe this is what she was kind of hoping for. I, I think so, and it, this means a big thing, you know, in this feud between Rachel um, against Asia and Zeta Ion. Oh yeah, it's definitely got boiling to a point where it looks like there's going to be no return. I, and we're supposed to follow it up after this, which it's going to be a, a great matchup between, you know, the former Hellcat champion Brooke against the woman that costed her that championship, Casey Benz. Yes, exactly. And we all know that Larissa has not been on the good side of Santana. And as a result, a three-on-one handicap match has been made. So, ladies, 
because I know you three are hungry to make a name for yourselves, and I have just the opportunity for that to happen. Candace, Annie, Ashlyn, I want you three to decimate Larissa tonight. I want to see her lying in a pool of her own blood after what she did to me on episode one. I'm counting on all three of you, so don't screw this up. Don't worry about it, boss. I promise you that by the time we're done with her, she won't be able to walk on her own two feet. <laughs> you picked the right people to handle her. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. Good. Now get out there and give Larissa the beating of a lifetime. I want to see a massacre. Have you heard anything about what we're doing tonight? It'd be extremely annoying if we went out of our way to have entirely new gear made for it to be wasted. Hmm, surprisingly not. There's no reason we shouldn't be though. If the rather lackluster Juliana or even Celine can land a spot, I'm sure we, the most dominant duo in sports entertainment, can as well. I know. Maybe we should just go out there and remind everyone just what our agenda is. I'm sure. No. No. I am positive there is a bountiful amount of sirens back here that need a full-on exfoliation anyway. So maybe it is a good thing if we go ahead and take it into our own hands. Hey ladies, it looks like you two are prepared for tonight's rematch, no? Match? What match? Marcella, you don't remember? The TKS board of directors called and told us that you wanted another rematch for those titles. I never caught. <laughs> you are so funny. Anyway, we just want to stop by and thank you for giving us another rematch. I know you were always a Bordeaux Horror fan. And just for your troubles, we wanted to invite you to our after party when we reclaim those tag team championships. And don't bury Tiffany. We didn't forget that about you either. You're invited as well. See you ladies tonight. And good luck. <laughs> you what? Why would you give them another rematch? Are you stupid, Marcella? Uh, I literally didn't even do anything. We beat them twice already. And you think they're deserving of another match? You know what? You better not make us lose tonight, or else. Well, it appears that um, we have ourselves a tag team championship matchup this evening, and from the sounds of it, I don't think everybody's on the same page. Yeah, it seems that Tiffany and Marcel are finally real realizing what the Border Horse did last Aftershock. It there's going to be some big implications in that matchup if they lose. It, I think Tiffany's going to be furious. Yes, exactly. She already did not seem like the happiest camper with Marcella. I don't think that she realized exactly that the Border Horse were behind the whole call themselves. But we're going to have to look forward to that later on this evening as we turn our attention now to Katya, who is making her way out here to face, from what I have been informed, Elise Laprez. And uh, this woman right here, who is not signed to the company, I'm sure, is really looking forward to this matchup against Katya because this is a big deal. If she could knock her off here, you know, the board of directors might just take a look at her in consideration in the future. Oh, exactly. And for this match for Katya, this is more of a warm up for her to get really geared up for, you know, for winning the gauntlet. And she's going to be going on to face Juliana for that TKS Sirens Championship, as we saw in the render before her coming into the ring. Yes, exactly. You know, even though Katya is got a for sure title shot for the Sirens World Championship, she can't exactly let her guard down against a hungry talent such as Elise. Oh no, exactly. And probably she should probably keep her guard up all the time because we know how that roster is in the in the locker room, and they are always gunning to try and take someone else's spot. Yes, exactly. This division is no stranger to really taking what they believe that they deserve. So we're just gonna have to see. Katya is just gonna have to. Keep her focused, though. I'll bite the situation at hand as the match is officially underway. Oh, oh. already starting. No, Katya starting out with a big arm drag. Quickly bringing Elise to the floor. Throwing her off the ropes. Oh, leapfrogging over. And oh, we got a wheelbarrow arm drag by Katya. Beautiful athletic display there from Katya. Nothing that we're not used to, of course, from the veteran. 
Exactly. Oh, Talon at least up. Bring it in Kati using that ability of hers. Oh. Just bringing her back to the floor. And we just saw her just kick her square in the chest. And you know, and for a woman, that definitely has got to have a little bit more impact. Katya off the ropes here. Head full of steam. Wait, oh. oh. Got it. Over the top rope straight into Elise. And I think they might have even impacted into the barricade. Oh, definitely. Maybe the top of the, um, top of Katya's head might have hit that barricade, you know. But quickly getting up and staying on top of the momentum that she has done for herself. She don't. She goes to the top rope now. Yeah, she has been in looking for control. something. And oh, Elise! Oh, throwing Katya down to the floor, and you know, realizing where she was in the ring, and uh, you know, quickly, you know, shaking the cobwebs out after that big suicide dive. Oh, looks like she's gonna go for some sort of a kick in the corner, but Katya, all the wiser, recuperating after that fall from the top. Oh, exactly. Oh, he's just a big body press it. Oh, oh my God! Catastrophe kick. One, two, two. And that's it. Oh my wow. God! And Katya, just like that, takes out the poor Elise Lopez, who <laughs> didn't exactly have, I'm sure, the fairy tale ending she was hoping for. But nonetheless, Katya came out on top, and congratulations to her, keeping the momentum going, heading into her potential Sirens World Championship bout. No doubt, probably at Revelations. Exactly, you know, this is really going to help her out moving forward, and who knows, we could be looking at the next TKS Women's Champion right here. Yes, we very well could, and Katya having not the best... Oh! Oh, oh no! See? Oh, my. oh! God, and Juliana just ramming the bell into the back of Katya's head when she was turned! It oh! God, what's this? Oh, what? Oh my god, we got, that's a modified dragon sleeper if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, look at it. I don't think I've ever just seen wrench. Juliana do this before. Oh my, just wrenching right on her neck. It, Jesus. God, and it, Katya's got to be completely out. And just like that, a kiss of death blown to Katya, who has deemed disabled in the middle of the ring well ladies and gentlemen we have to take a quick commercial break but we will be right back after to discuss what just transpired here in front of us in cleveland ohio Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to TKS Aftershock and if you're just tuning in you just witnessed you know the number one contender for the TKS Sirens Championship Katya end up getting attacked by Juliana right in the back with the, the, the championship that she's fighting for and she just got hit with a new maneuver that we've never seen Juliana hit before and to me it looks like a very modified dragon sleeper and it, that might be the, the move but oh Katya's backstage now. You know, you can't hide forever, so just come out. Julia! Ah! Oh! God, it looks like Katya was in hot pursuit of Julia backstage. Oh! Oh, oh my... She just hit her with that fire extinguisher. Oh my... God, I don't think I've ever seen Juliana be as brutal as she has with anybody else. Just first spraying Katya oh with my. the... Oh, oh! That substance inside of it and then effectively hitting her with the just... God! She, we've never seen Juliana get like this. It's like, I don't know, like a monster is inside of her. Just destroying Katya. I, I've never seen it. it. 
We, we gotta get help back there. We gotta get these two women away from each other. Yes, exactly. Juliana has just been picking her apart from the moments before the commercial break to now. No. Oh, no. Headlock no, no, she's applied. And it with the Nakanchi on the flooring. And that is not made for wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, of course. God, and Katya might be seriously hurt if someone does not get back there to check on her after that just complete brutal beatdown from Juliana, the Sirens champion. Jeez, and I, we have to wonder if she's going to be able to compete, but I again, mean, we have more matches that we got to go through. Yes, exactly. As you can see, uh, announced a bit earlier this evening by the Border Wars, there will be a Sirens Tag Team Championship rematch for the main event this evening. But first, we have to get through Brooke versus Casey Benz, and I am certain Brooke has definitely got a lot riding on this one especially considering this woman right here is the almost entire reason that Celine is the new Hellcats champion well, exactly it if it wasn't for Casey Benz being at ringside I believe that Brook would still be our Hellcats champion and I I think she has to think the same thing so I, I think this woman right here is going to be out for blood Yes, exactly, but I'll bite the situation that Brooke has found herself in. She has not been one to back down or even remotely give up in the face of adversity, so we're just going to have to see how she fares tonight, as I am, you know, considering how history has been going, Celine's no doubt going to be alongside Casey for this matchup this evening. Exactly, and again, the, there's going to be a numbers game stacked against her, but hopefully Brooke, she just finds a way to come on top, and hopefully we'll end up getting another match for that Hellcats championship. And out comes that woman herself, Casey Benz, and... You could all just got a brief shot of Brooke there. Her eyes are laser focused on that stage. Exactly. You know, as we've been talking about, this woman right here is the sole reason why she's not the champion. Yes, exactly. And, you know, it's just, it really is a shame. You know, Brooke comes from the picture perfect fairy tale underdog story and you know kind of ironically Celine who calls herself Maleficent personified has been the you know villain to her whole entire upbringing taking her championship alongside Casey Benz here it's just you know it's such a shame really but as things develop and you know unfold here in aftershock between the two you know opposing sides it's it only gets more and more, you know, intense as time goes on. Exactly, and uh, you know we've talked about how dangerous Celine is, but Casey definitely has this mean streak in her own right. So Brooke, you know, in this fiery anger that she might have, she has to watch out for the cunningness of Casey Benz in this matchup. And surprisingly, I don't. Oh, oh, I was about to say I, I didn't see Celine anywhere, but you know. Goodness, I suppose I need to start knocking on wood. I seemingly jinx everything right before I call it, and it looks like the Hellcats champion is going to be ringside for this matchup, I presume. I, I guess so. She just wait for her to make her entrance right here, and... And as you can see, her sporting that beautiful blue championship, the Hellcats championship, just, you know around her waist there and no doubt Brooke is as eager as ever to get that back around her own waist and we know she's not just out here to, to support her tag team partner and uh whatever else Casey Benz is to her but what oh oh my oh god a big boot out of nowhere while Brooke was no doubt distracted by the entrance of Celine there god I thought that would have been it already it's a good thing yes, Brooke I think was... oh oh we got a prawn hold now two Oh, kick out. I think everyone forgot that the bell rang right before Celine came out. So uh, the match was going on and she definitely distracted uh, Brooke, excuse me. And Casey Benz was able to get the up, like the, the momentum in her favor for a moment. That's exactly but, what Brooke oh. has quickly turned it around now. Oh, she's finding off the ropes. We're going to get these patented leg drops of hers. She hits another one. Oh, God. 
you know, going right after that arm, already setting up to try and go for the arm bar apparatus. And getting there warmed up for it. Casey's going to have to look out for that signature maneuver of Brooke because that could easily, you know, signal for the end if she's not careful. And oh my, Jesus, we're getting those very blunt elbows by Brooke. It seems like right on the top of Casey's head. Yeah, and you know, all by Brooke did not have the longest championship reign. She is still a champion in her own right, and she got the championship for a reason. So she is definitely going to take it, everything that she has to Casey. Oh, she just exactly. got shoved oh. off there. Oh! Hitting Being her right in the down. shin. Pitfall two. And no, two Brooke count. is still in this one. Yeah, we saw that Casey just took the legs right under Brooke and now just keeping on the attack now. Throwing her off the rope, stucking down. And oh, hitting her with the loot that's pressed now. Hitting her with some clubbing punches now. She goes to the pin again. Two. Only a two count. Once again, a close count there for Brooke. As Casey has got firm control here. And as you can see, oh my god, tire oh, oh, her oh, up. What is like that? Camel clutch of sorts. As you can see, Celine literally right there laughing in the face of Brooke as she is just being, god, bent in half. Exactly. Oh. Oh, the master submissions herself finding a way out of this one. And then Brooke, oh, oh. With a huge drop kick right in their chest. Yeah, front drop kick taking her down. And I think she bounced off that middle rope there for added damage. I don't know if that was intentional or not from Brooke's height. Oh. oh, going maybe for a spear, uh, trying to hit her to the outside. But Casey seen it coming. Oh. And here with that huge spin around kick to the face of Brooke. And this could be it. Ooh. I just spoke too soon. Yeah, another close count. Brooke definitely having a power struggle here in this matchup against Casey. Oh, there for that spinning kick once again. Now one to the back to follow. Oh, oh, falling to the other corner now. And Brooke taking advantage of her hit with that huge flying forearm. And I think we're going to see all of her aggression taken out right here on Casey Benz now. Just throwing her with that huge exploder. That's beautiful exploder suplex. Oh. And oh. Oh, as you can see, uh, Brooks taking her attention off of Casey. This is not the smart thing to do here. Oh, it's not, but she's having some choice words with there, but. Oh, no, I don't think she sees Casey like getting up now and oh! Hit her with a hot shot. Oh! I don't know oh if that. I don't know who exactly got the worst out of that one. Celine breaking the fall of Brooke unintentionally. I think Casey might have just sent the demise of her partner there. I think so, and oh my god, we just saw Casey hit uh, Brooke with a huge tuck knee to the chin. But yes, yeah, somehow though, that move by Casey ended up working in the favor of Brooke as she landed on top of Celine, her tag team partner. And oh, Casey just now kicking Brooke right in the chest now. Picking her back up, she bounces off the ropes, and oh, hitting her with a huge neck snap. And Casey just doing the right thing, just still just staying on top of Brooke. And again, another neck snap going the other way now. She goes for another pin. One, two. Only a two count, though. And, you know, we don't talk about it enough. Casey does have a, you know, a good amount of ring experience to her. But I don't think anything like Brooke is now just elbowing her right into the ropes. Bouncing her off. And I'll hit her with a huge pop oh, drop kick. God, falling on the feet of Brooke there after being lifted up into the air. All by not too much, but just enough. Oh, a brief focus oh, on yeah. the leg there. Going after that foot, it almost. And we got to see. Maybe she's going to start targeting some limbs maybe later on in this matchup. Now, Brooke is She's definitely exactly where she wants to be. She is on the full offense here of Casey. Oh, and another oh. exploder suplex into the corner. We got another one, I think. We're going to be seeing the, the beginning of the end is now on a pump handle suplex this time by Brooke. Yeah, beautiful display of strength and technicality here. She is just throwing Casey all over the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I think Celine, Celine distracting the ref. 
Now she's just yelling at Casey for a minute, but... Oh, I don't think she was fully paying attention to Selena. I don't think she appreciated that whatsoever. Turning her around to get her attention. And, oh, it's another choice words between these two Hellcats, to say the least. Yeah, exactly. And I can only imagine. We don't have a mic on them, but they're probably not the most friendly of words being exchanged here. Oh, exactly. And, oh, I think she's yelling over to Casey to get up. And, oh, knocking Celine down. And I think she's felt Casey getting up. And, oh, she's oh. got on the armbar apparatus. Yes, she does. And arm she's wrenching. Apparatus right here. It's locked in completely. And Casey's tapping. Brooke has come out victorious. And a victory that she definitely needed after her downfall in episode one from the hands of these two women. Uh, coming out on top, having Casey Benz oh, pretty much in the middle of the ring and making her tap out that uh, the patented and infamous. As always, as you can see, we have an official theme for all of our shows, so you can go and cash out on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you, you know, find yourself listening to music. Girl, I have got to say, this couldn't have been a better time for you to return to Aftershock. I mean, did you see the look on Zeta's... I mean, the Great Age Space... What the look in their eyes? Believe me, they were shivering under those masks. Although I've never doubted you, I just want to say thanks for having my back as always. Hey, <laughs> no worries, Rach. I mean, you know, Aisha, she really couldn't see too much of nothing as she tried to meet me on the ramp and I laid her on her back. <laughs> I just thought I'd drop by and, you know, help us this out. Ever since I've been gone, these girls have been running wild over this division. But all of that stops now that I'm back. Those two know exactly who they're messing with now. We're the feminine fatales. Always have been and always will be. Those girls don't know exactly who they're messing with. It's time to show those girls who really runs this show. Fatale style. And with that said, there's no doubt that the official Fem Fatale reunion is long overdue here in Total Knockout Society. The great Asian Zeta better be on their toes because they're about to receive the ass whooping of a lifetime from the greatest women's tag team to set foot in that ring. Well, it, as we all, like I was saying, you know, before the commercial break, we saw, you know, Rachel come out and try and speak her mind on the actions of Asia and before she get attacked by both her and Zeta. And this woman right here, Tessa Vendetta, making her Total Knockout Society return. And it is official at Revelations. We're going to see a tag match between the two stables, as well as a Sirens Championship match between Kazi and Juliana, who we saw earlier get completely brutalized by the champion herself, both after her matchup and backstage. Exactly. And I, you have to wonder what type of condition Kati is in after getting hit in the back of the head with that fire extinguisher and then getting that huge DDT on that locker room floor. Yes, exactly. And I can only hope that we receive positive, you know, health updates as time goes on tonight. But for now, it appears that Isabella is making her way out here and she doesn't exactly look fit to wrestle. So I'm going to presume that she's going to either speak on what's been going on or whatever the case might be. You know, it's as we saw her make her debut and return, you know, in that gauntlet match, and she took out of several of, you know, the 
the veterans of TKS, and she's really coming back here with a different mindset of really trying to take over the show. You know, she had that eye to eye with Darissa, and, and we saw it. You know, she had the hunger in her eyes to really be the TKS Sirens World Champion. That's exactly, taking out the likes of Angel and Annie, and you know. She was very impressive, and I don't think any of us were expecting it whatsoever, you know. So, she's come back definitely with a vengeance, and, you know, seeing as her prior run in Total Knockout Society wasn't exactly the most accolade fill, hopefully, for her sake, she can turn that around. Okay, okay. Enough of that. For God's sake, everybody just shut up and let me speak. Oh, I should just walk right out of this ring and go back to relaxing backstage since some idiots want to waste my time. However, once again, there are things that need to be discussed. And as usual, I'm the one who has to be discussing. You see, last week I was a part of the gauntlet that determined the new number one contender for the Sirens World Championship. Which, thank God, that one poor excuse of a woman Better yet, champion, where was the loss? Anyways, I was one of the first competitors in the gauntlet, and also the longest lasting that I had. Meanwhile, Katya, who won by a roll up, was the last person out. I would just like to know how that's for me. If I was last, I probably could have up that big, big creature and won too. But no. I actually put on perhaps the best match of the night just to be taken up with that unidentified figure, Asia. So let me get this straight. Katya gets awarded for being a talentless coward, while I get nothing for my hard work. How in the world is that fair? I am the best woman, not only on this roster, but in all of wrestling. I demand to be treated as such! Huh? That looks like Morgan Rivera. Uh, I I don't know what she's doing here. You know, we take a moment and remember she was supposed to have, she was announced to have showed up last season. But it, I, I don't. I'm not sure exactly what happened. But you know, here she is now, and looks like she's definitely heard enough of Isabella's complaining. Oh, yeah, she looks like she's ready to fight too. She does not look happy in the slightest. <laughs> Morgan? Is Morgan Rivera? <laughs> Santana, please come out here and tell me it's a joke. I don't think so. Morgan, stop right there. You must truly be a psychotic bitch if you think you're ever going to step in my ring. Especially while I'm here. Listen. I don't know what house for Looney Tunes the higher up dug through to find you, and neither do I care. But just know, if you ever had the audacity to interrupt me again, there will be consequences. Isabella, surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you were saying the last to me. Did I hear you correctly? Because I think I heard you say that you're the best wrestler this business has ever seen. I mean, I thought I was the crazy one. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, I am the crazy one. Morgan, do you ever listen to yourself speak? I guess not. But sadly, I have. And from what I've heard, you're just another tryhard. You try so hard to be some crazy bold bitch, when in reality, you're just another insecure, poor excuse of a woman who just can't accept the fact that you'll never acquire the talent and sex appeal that I have. I feel bad to be even looking at you right now. The desperation for one last second thing was it all over your face. Isabella, you literally look like a sheep whore. And honestly, it takes a cycle to know a cycle. I mean, 
Where's your man's? Your cheap ass finally drove him away? Actually, don't even answer that. Because you know what? Those heels may make you an inch or two taller, but I'm still capable of putting your ass six feet under. Face me in a match, bitch. Now, usually I don't pay attention to females like you, because you're all just envious of me. But I didn't get all dolled up for nothing. I'll give you a match. However, if and when you lose, you must become my new assistant. And if I lose, which I won't, the same goes for me. Now, if you excuse me, I must look at what you're doing tonight. I hope you like wearing pink. <laughs> Honestly, Isabella, I hope you're ready to go back to your corner. Because that's where I'm sending you after I win our match tonight. Oh! Oh my god! And, oh no, I just think she just did the wrong thing now! Oh my god! Oh! God, hitting her that knee, that knee brace there! Got it. <laughs> well, it... Oh, after a, just a absolutely action-packed tonight of returns and... A sneak attacks that Morgan Rivera has joined the fray and it looks like her eyes are set on Isabella Petrova and from what I've heard what I'm, what I'm understanding from what just transpired there's going to be a matchup between these two and the winner well the loser becomes the other's assistant and I can only imagine that that's probably not going to lead to um pleasant things for whoever uh, falls short tonight yeah, it's, that that's saying it, you know, the least type of way. Honestly, it it's, it's gonna be bad either way. God, I can only imagine what the other, what they've got planned for each other. I can imagine ideas are already running through their heads in full. But you know, until that happens this evening, we've got to turn our attention to. Yeah, like I just said, it's going to be happening later this evening. It is officially announced, and... Oh, God, I can only imagine that one's going to boil over. And ne up next, we've got a three-on-one handicap match, and... <sighs> Poor Larissa, that's all I can really say. It, yeah, you just have to feel bad for her at this point with, with all of just the, the adversity that she's had to go through since pretty much having that title like taken away from her essentially she was screwed out of that match yes she was Santana bringing back Juliana Conchi to take her out at Revelations uh, excuse me at Axe of Powers and now she's the champion after making her in-ring return on episode one and we look forward to Revelations where she's going to be taking on Katya now defending the title while poor Larissa has been left to fend for herself here against the general manager who is no doubt on a power trip, you know, with literally putting her up against odds that are almost, you know, I would say insurpassable for any other siren here, but Larissa has been up against some of the craziest odds one can see and has come out on top before, so maybe she just has it in her do it again. Exactly, you know, she's gone up against odds in the past, and but this one is going to be a little different. She's not just facing a huge uh, mountain to face like she did once against Zeta Ion. You know, she's facing probably three of the most... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I would say maybe unconventional of Sirens. Yeah, I can definitely agree with you there. They haven't had the best of luck so far this season. But, you know, we can't exactly sit there and measure them Count by them that yeah exactly you know you are as good as your last performance and you know they can easily prove themselves with any opportunity that they're given and tonight they're not just going to be doing it alone as they're accompanied by candace torn who has seemingly reinvented herself after everything that's gone down with her you know over the last couple of seasons just being broken down and used and you know I think that something in her mind has maybe clicked and 
I, I don't I don't know if it clicked in the good way, but yeah, I I don't think it clicked, Michael. I, I think it it, it cracked yeah, from the looks of it. the rest is going to be able to overcome this trio. They're all just seemingly as I'm not exactly sure what the call we know in the past, especially Ashlyn has been known for her more um, unorthodox tactics. You know, and now Elani accompanying her and seemingly Candace being the wild card here. It's it's going to be it's gonna be a challenge, a hurdle, at least, for the least to say. Yeah, these are three of the most brutal sirens we have, or at least that's what I'm assuming with Candace. You know, we've seen what she could do when she was saying that it, it's gonna be a whole different story tonight with her, but we know exactly what we get when this woman comes to that ring, Larissa Demendez. And I think, you know, she is gonna fight like she is a champion because, you know, she. I believe she still is one. You know, she gives it her all each and every night when she is in that ring. And, you know, she's gained the respect of the fans out here. Yes, exactly. Being a fan favorite is the absolute, you know, the biggest injustice you can give this woman after fighting against absolute everything that's thrown her way, no matter where she is, what place, what ring. She just never gives up and tonight is just another testament to that as you can see that she's coming head first into this three on one handicap match without complaint uh, yes yeah, she hasn't complained or whined about this at all she she really rolls with the punches with what is given to her in this company when most other people would, would probably complain or say something about it but she's gonna prove tonight hopefully as well Candace already rolling up the wrist of it Got into the ropes. You know, Larissa bringing her to the floor now, and oh, hitting her with that kick right in the chest of Candice. A yeah, beautiful athletic snare from Larissa, as to be expected, who's going to be taking it straight to her opponents without fault. Exactly, you know, Larissa hitting her with the huge Mongolian chop, bringing her to the corner. And oh, we're going to see these huge running body presses by Larissa. And, oh. What's she looking to do? Oh, looks she's trying to do something, but oh, Candace reversing and slamming Larissa's face right into the canvas. No nope. people there, only one count. Larissa, she's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to take a lot for these three women to keep her down, you know. I think they could definitely get the job done if they all work cohesively as a unit, but it's definitely not going to be an easy task. Oh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to say the least how they work together. Is oh Annie and Candace working together, just both just shoving their knees to the abdomen of Larissa and all oh, bringing her down oh. for a double gut buster. Got her right onto the abdomen of Larissa. It looks like Annie's gonna go for a pinfall right immediately after. While well, the wind has knocked it out of her, but to no avail. No. Oh. Annie, she's always been a very scrappy wrestler in TKS here, and it just seems that whenever she sees a weakness in her opponent, you know, she just really just, it's like smelling blood in the water with her. And I think she's going to try and stay right on top of Larissa while she can. You know, but Demendez fighting back now is all we're getting these punches, these left jabs, and I'll put a little dance on it, all hitting her with that right uppercut. And getting back into this one like we know Larissa can. Ooh, running leg drop. Repositioning herself there for a pin, it looks like. You know, only a two count, though. Looks like she's bringing Annie into the middle of the ring right here. And, oh, grab it onto her head and neck it. Oh, my God. It's like a modified vice grip. Yeah, exactly. Wrenching on the neck there. Very particular positioning there. It's kind of a hard move to pull off unless you know what you're doing. Or Annie fighting out of it pretty quickly, though, who I don't think appreciated that all too much.
All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to this three-on-one handicap match. And she has Ashlyn in the corner now. And then with another body press. Now oh, bringing Ashlyn into the middle now. And oh, Ashlyn saw whatever maneuver she was doing. Coming in with a huge back suplex. Got it. And Larissa is down in the middle of the ring with no one to go tag in. Even if she tries to draw a line between the corner of the Anarchy Angels and Candace Torn, she doesn't really have much space to work with. And she really doesn't, and she has no one to rely on, so she really has to find a way of getting into that cardio that she's trained on and to really just keep her stamina up high throughout this matchup. She's going to have to try and figure something out. She has been in this situation before, so I have no doubt that she can do it again, but, you know, it's a definitely different people she's up against this time, and especially with Santana overseeing the whole operation, I can only imagine that the moment that Larissa gets any type of leeway or upset, she's going to be shoved right back down. And oh, we got a double, like, leg, well, abdomen kick by Candace. And Ashley now, and Candace now just hitting a barrage of punches. Oh my! Guard just hitting those blunt elbows now right into the head of Larissa. She goes to the pin now. One, two, and this could be it. And oh, a very spoke close too count soon for Larissa. You know, look, you see. Going up the ropes. Oh my god. Can is the huge spear. Well, taking her straight to the floor once again, all the way in the corner of her partners there. Oh, another close kick out for Larissa. I don't know how she's staying in this one thus far. She is being just picked apart. And uh, you just look at Ashlyn and Andy, and they're both on the, the same side of the ropes. And I, I, I think they're just letting Candace just do the work. Exactly, they definitely don't need to intervene as of right now, especially with Candace just taking it straight to poor Larissa. And oh, again, Larissa just showing that fire, Michael. You know, the, the never say die attitude of hers. Again, another close two count. Let me take a look at, second look at this here. You can see Candace was sizing her up, and that spear just all link all of her strength behind it. God. Ugh. So only a two count. Oh my God, we just see that elevated dragon sleeper putting all of the pressure right on the throat of oh. Larissa. And it, oh, it looks like Andy's just trying to pick the bones or maybe get the win for herself. She, cooks, she just goes to the pin and... Ooh, I thought that she, she was pretty certain that was going to be enough, but see Candace kind of <laughs> responding to that. Probably uh, not in the most pleasant of ways to Annie, but... Oh, oh looks yeah, like she was oh. going to go for that patent. Oh, stunner, but... Oh, Larissa shoving her off of her. He somehow and hitting her with that huge kick right to the abdomen, knocking her down and throwing off the ropes. Well, into the turnbuckle and getting to the face of Candace. Well, you know, again, again, these body presses. And oh, we got a huge got neck break. Beautiful. Corkscrew neckbreaker there taking Annie down and she is in the perfect positioning here. Top rope, Larissa goes. Oh, size in a rup. And oh! Oh! The double foot stomp right into the abdomen of Annie. And oh. Wow, that was only a two count. God, I, I was almost certain that was going to be it there, but. Like she's gonna oh. hire a stripper into the corner, but I think kind of like faking it out on purpose. Maybe a little bit of mind games of her own. I think so. And oh, I don't think she realizes where she is. Oh, God, no. Ashton's got a firm hold of her here. As you can see, Candace just talking smack right there in her face. And oh, the oh, worst able to get out of it. Oh, knocked down Ashlyn and hitting Candace off the apron now. And oh, oh. Setting up Annie for something. When she's got her up here. Oh. This could be it. And oh. Oh my god. God. And that. Oh. 
belly to back mat slam that signature move of larissa takes her out and she has come out on top of this one miraculously uh, somehow the odds were stacked up against her three to one and larissa de mendez found a way to come out victorious Got him. I'm sure she's most definitely ecstatic because that's a slap in the face to Santana, no doubt. But we're just going to have to see what the future has in store for this poor woman because she has been through the ringer. And I can only imagine that this is far from the last time we're going to see her in a position like this. And oh, what is speaking of the devil now? Santana making her way down to the ring. Oh god, and she is no doubt not happy after the failure of the Anarchy Angels and Candace. Uh oh! Oh no. Candace and Ashland getting oh. back in the ring. Oh god, and just. Oh, no doubt Annie is down after the completely. Oh! Brutal maneuver that she was undergone. She was put through by Larissa, but the you other two. You want to embarrass me? Huh? You want to embarrass me in front of the entire world? Pick her up! You're going to learn why nobody disrespects me. I created you. Without me, there wouldn't be a Larissa de Mendez. You will never, ever be the face of my company. Do you understand me? Now, don't you ever put your hands on me again. Throw her here. And oh! Oh my God! The big boot from the general manager ending Larissa there after that oh just complete hate speech there and oh and now, now all of them are just stomping on Larissa Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to one of the most controversial and just I don't I don't even I don't even know what to say after what transpired after what was already an unfair three-on-one handicap match Larissa was put through against Annie Ashton and Candace afterwards after she actually beat those odds Santana came out and laid her to waste. Oh God and I just Larissa has got herself in just a web of, you know, just a web of torment from the general manager. Honestly, it's, it's, it's getting really sad to see what Larissa has to go through. But ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't tune in earlier and you're wondering why Isabella's coming on here in ring gear, it's because of a mass that was made earlier as she was uh, dressing this crowd right here. Uh, Morgan Rivera surprisingly made, came out to the ring and was ready for a fight. And this is between the, the both of them and whoever loses becomes the winner's assistant. That's exactly. And, you know, from the moment that was announced, I can only imagine that the just twisted ideas that they've been thinking for one another, whether, you know, or if they win, of course. But, you know, I can only imagine that this matchup is definitely going to be I actually don't know what to expect I don't believe these women have faced before and you know Isabella being you know as impressive as she was in episode one I can only imagine you know from what I've understood Morgan hasn't exactly been a steady in-ring performer for quite a while now as you can see her sporting that knee brace kind of took her out of the picture full-time for quite a while 
I'm, I can only imagine, you know, maybe that she's got a little bit of ring rust and that could play into it, but we're just gonna have to see. Cause this woman has just bursted onto the scene after we heard her announced the longest time ago, and I think maybe a disagreement of some sort must have ensued for her delay here, but she is finally here in Aftershock, and Isabella has found herself in her sights. And if we remember anything about Morgan Rivera, we know that she doesn't like to be called this word, uh, word and they talked about it in the ring, that she's been known to be very psychotic yeah. and in the ring. Yeah, down though, we don't want to hear us say that, because I don't, can only imagine the, what she put down on Isabella can only be worse for us, but she is definitely no joke in the ring, you know, from the work that she has undergone and... She has been nothing but impressive, you know, having victories at such places as Diva Mania and things of the sort. And all already out of steam. Oh my! Bring it to Isabella diving spirit. Oh my God! Yeah, just a head full of steam, as you said, taking it straight to Isabella, and she is oh oh you spinning leg kick. We saw her put Annie away with that same maneuver. It looks like it's not going to be the same fate tonight. Wow, only a one count. That's exactly. Definitely going to need to do some more damage in order to keep Morgan down here. God, she has her back into the corner now. A handful of hair and... Oh! Slamming her face into that top turnbuckle there with a boot added to it for, I guess, some added, like... I don't know, damage, presumably. Oh, exactly. And oh, you know, this is a perfect... Th this is just very... This is a smart move. Jeez, I'm stumbling over my words. But this is smart by Isabella to ground, the, you know, the fast-paced momentum of Morgan Rivera and slow down this match to her own pace. You know, exactly. she's going to take full control of this with this maneuver right here, the chin lock. Oh, but, oh Morgan, fall oh, away! Jawbreaker there, and she got all of that one. And oh, oh Lutez pressed out, slamming all those punches into Isabella's face, and we hear that primal scream patented to her. Exactly, you can see Isabella struggling to get to her feet here. Oh, clothesline sends her over. Oh, she's sizing her up for something. Jumping off the ropes. Oh, oh my, my God. It's cross body. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Isabella versus Morgan Rivera. Loser becomes the other one's assistant. And if you're just tuning in, this is what happened before the commercial break. Morgan Rivera sizing up Isabella for a huge springboard cross body. Oh, yeah, and she got absolutely all of that one in there and has been in firm control. She was in firm control, excuse me, through the commercial break. But as you can see now, Isabella has turned the tide. Oh, and is just picking away at Morgan Rivera. Pinfall here. One, two, two, and only a two count. Once again, as you can see, she's not exactly the happiest to hear that from the ref trying to plead to him, but... Yeah, this is a very impromptu match between these two women, but this is not like a loser leaves the brand or loser gets fired. This is you become their assistant. Your job becomes 
uh, I guess just doing anything other person asks is, geez, Morgan Vera hitting that huge flying knee and all, looks like she's getting upset. Yeah, she definitely is. Her frustration might be getting to her though, but she needs to be careful that doesn't keep her eyes off the prize. Ooh. Exactly, but oh, I think she's firing up right now. Oh, hitting her over and oh, hitting that huge sidekick to the head of Isabella. Oh, oh. Throwing her off the ropes. And oh, huge shotgun oh. drop kick. God, sending her into the corner there. Looks like she's going to go for some top rope action. We saw her fly a little earlier with that springboard crossbody. Oh, moonsault. Shoot, moonsault. Right on the this money. Could this be could it. be it. it. No. Oh, wow. Two and three quarters. That could have been the dismay of Isabella. And I can only imagine after making the stipulation herself, she definitely does not want to become Morgan's assistant. Oh, yeah. She would be eating her own words and... Looks like Isab I mean, Morgan's setting up for something, but oh, Isabella getting out of it. Sunset flip. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, oh my God. And what we thought was going to be all Morgan it was suddenly turned around by Isabella. And it looks like Morgan's now going to be her assistant. And. Uh, I mean, this is what Isabella wanted, and she saw it to fruition, but, you know, with Morgan just arriving on the scene, I can imagine this is not exactly the position she imagined herself to be put in. I know. This is... You have to feel sad for her. I, I thought it was going to be it after that beautiful moonsault by Morgan Rivera, but somehow... Somehow she kicked out at two, and looks like she was going for maybe a powerbomb, but Isabella finding a way to turn into a sunset flip roll-up, and... Ultimately win that. And here you have it. Isabella is your winner. And Morgan is now her full-time assistant. For who knows how long as well. I don't even think that was discussed. I guess uh, Morgan's going to end up finding out on her first day in the job. We'll definitely see how she's feeling after carrying Isabella's bags all over the place. As you know, TKS loves to travel. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with all of you lovely folks. If you didn't know already, my name is Akira Burdell, and I may be new around here, but I plan on doing some big things. Big things and big dreams, big dreams and little old me. Did I mention I'm a singer? Sometimes I spontaneously break into song, but I hope you all enjoy it because we are, we are, and I can't control it. It just happens. Despite my little singing syndrome, I'm in serious business around here. I want to expand in this business, and if that means singing some of these girls' least favorite songs at the top of my lungs, by all means, I will do it. Just kidding. But with all of that being said, I have one question for all of you. Are you ready for it? it looks like we got a word from one of our newest sirens, Akira. Um, a little bit of a message to the locker room, if you will. But ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the main event for this evening and Whenever you hear the words Tag Team Championship match, especially over the course of the past few months, you know, the Board of Whores and Pure have been in the limelight for the division, and God, for as long as we can remember now, they have just been at each other's throats. Just extending all the way back into last season, you know. Exactly. It really it's been this tag team championship uh, race it's been between these two these two teams the border whores and team pure and when we talk about tag team wrestling everyone thinks about tks first you know they have created some of the, the best women's tag team wrestling probably since the creation of tks Yes, exactly. All other companies, you know, don't really exactly have a women's tag division. You know, this being one of the main showcases of Total Knockout Society ever since the ringing in of the new era, quote unquote, last season. So, you know, it's 
it's been crazy and especially with the just attitudes and egos and different skill sets between both pure and the border horrors it has definitely proven to be one of the most intense back and forth just i don't know I mean, what you like to call it back and forth uh i guess fights or the, these showcases between these two tag teams which uh, i remember once you know this uh, the border horrors truly believe that marcella and tiffany they, they believe that they're knockoffs of them and I remember yeah. that was a big thing that led up to, you know, the fire that got under Marcella and Tiffany Arrow to end up beating them for the Tag Team Championships. Yes, exactly. And having defended it against them once, it looks like tonight, after a little bit of uh, behind-the-scenes, you know, uh, scheming from the Border Horse, they have landed themselves another title shot and are putting all the blame on Marcella, which has caused a little bit of tension between both the members of Pure and I can only hope that I can keep a level head going into this one. As you can see. Oh, oh. Tiffany already running off like a bat out of hell. Just yeah. tumbling over Elena. Oh, punching Adriana now. Oh, yeah. She is definitely not a happy camper after having to learn that she is going to have to defend her titles once again. You know, it's like they say, hell has no fury like a woman scorn. And right now, I do not want to be anywhere near Tiffany Arrow. She God. has that huge wrist lock lariat with the pin. Ooh, only a, only one, a one count, count. But she has definitely been taking it straight to Elena, one half of the Border Wars, you know. And they have got themselves a rematch. But, you know, after all of the bouts that they've had with these women, I can only imagine what they're going to have to do oh. to try and... Oh! come out on the top poke. Ooh, yeah quick what? kick out there from tiffany though who was most definitely used to the dirty games of the border wars by now oh exactly and i don't think the ref saw that eye poke as well tiffany quickly goes for a pin and only two count oh, elena slow to her feet feeling a little groggy Oh, oh yeah. Tiffany now bringing her into the corner, tagging in her tag team partner, Marcella. And we're going to see some of that tag team action going on right now. Is Oh, we get a clothesline oh. Russian leg sweep combination by Team Pure. And Marcella quickly goes to the pin. Yeah, had a little bit of heated words between the two earlier this evening, but it looks like they're back on the same page, you know, and that's what's important in order to keep their championships around their waist. Oh, definitely. Because I know if they end up losing, you know, Tiffany Arrow. And we saw how angry she got just with this match. And oh. I, you can't believe what's going to happen to Marcella if something bad happens. Yes, exactly. And, you know, although Tiffany oh. has forgiven Marcella for some shortcomings in the past. Oh, my oh. God, I can imagine her temper runs pretty short after a while. That super kick to the back of the head of Marcella. Could this be the end? And no. And no. Uh, some old Marcella... And staying conscious after getting not just a super kick to the back of the head, but that huge heel right in, right in the back of the head. And yeah, those things have to hurt. Oh, God. Ooh, and all we're seeing tag team action by them now is oh. we got an uppercut and neck breaker combination with Elena and Adriana. Oh, she's not done. Getting on top of her and hitting with these clubbing forearms right into the head. Oh, as yeah, Tiffany geez. can only watch. Not going to let Marcella have any room to breathe. They're going to have to try and pick her apart as they know that Tiffany is the more experienced of the two. Wait, oh! oh Huge Oklahoma slam with the spin on it by Adriana. Yeah, I can't but tell again, if the Marcella. spin was to add some more impact or if Marcella was trying to fight out of it. But nonetheless, coming out on the short end of the stick there, Adriana. Now in the figure four neck lock applied. Oh. oh my god, just slamming her face right into the canvas. And this is exactly what Adriana is doing to slow down the pace of this match to her own and try and keep Marcella grounded, but oh, finding a way, just hitting her in the sides of her legs. And oh, hits her with that huge lariat. With yeah, the pin right now. Down. One, two. Ooh, only a one count. Not too much offense so far by Marcella to Adriana, but she is staying in this one nonetheless. Oh, she is now. Oh, now she's going to try and wear down Adriana. Now she drives that knee right into the back and holds 
both of Adriana's arms in that straight jacket hold. So really, if Adriana has to get out of this, she has to use all of her strength. You know, yeah. looks like she's finding a way out of it. Oh, taking her over there. You know, picks her up now. Now, Adriana now cutting off the ring again, leaving Marcella in here by herself as Adriana now tags in Elena. And oh, oh. throws her in now. We got a sidewalk slam and a big boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Taking her finally down to the mat. Oh, got a pinfall here. And oh, another kick out and, and Tiffany, uh, well Marcella needs to find a way to tag in Tiffany Arrow, you know, if she wants to try and hold some of this stamina in. Oh my. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, in the main event of the evening for the TKS Tag Team Championships. Team Pure versus the Border Whores as Marcella and Elena are in the ring with Elena in full control now. As oh, she just stomps on the head of Marcella using the ropes to elevate her. Yeah, Marcella has not been having the best time in that ring as the Border Whores have really been keeping them away from Tiffany. Oh, could this be her moment, though? I think so. Bouncing off the ropes and oh, he oh. never reverse STO. Yeah, she does a smart thing and brings Tiffany into this one, able to get a little bit of offense first so that she can kind of have something to work off of here. Drag her in the middle oh. of the ring. Oh, we oh. got those double leg drops to the abdomen and oh, a huge oh. penalty kick by Tiffany Arrow. Wow. Right to the top of the head of Elena. As you can see, her just kind of fall back there lifelessly. A two count, though, as she stays in this one. So, um, oh, I, I think we're going to see the wrestling prowess of Tiffany Arrow come into display. As, you know, Elena can wrestle. You know, she acts dumb for these fans and try to get, you know, kind of a mental edge. But Tiffany Arrow is no joke in that ring. Yes, exactly. Elena has had numerous wins over Tiffany Arrow once before, and the same for the vice versa, so they know each other very well. But it looks like Tiffany right now just has the edge that Marcella gave her before tagging her in. I, yeah, I believe so. Is it, oh, has in a full Nelson position. Oh, my. Just slamming her head right into that turnbuckle. Yeah, she's definitely no fan of Elena. And, oh, yeah, no... Hitting her now with this foot wash, just putting the, the the bottom of her boot right into the forehead and oh! Hitting her with a huge big boot. Oh. Little rope she goes. We don't see Tiffany do this the most often, but it is a special occasion here. And oh! oh. We got that missile drop kick from the middle rope. She quickly goes to the pin. Yeah, she needs to be careful though. She's dangerously close to Adriana here. You know, only a two count. It seems that Tiffany Arrow surprised. As we said, she doesn't go to the middle rope that often, but as she said, it's a special occasion. She thought, you know, that might be it. But this match continues as now she hits that big knee right into the face of Elena. Now she does it again. You know, maybe going for a gut kick. Elena saw it coming. You know, twisting the arm and oh, hitting oh. her with that back leg kick. Yeah, one of her own there. Oh! And oh! Trying to go for another big boot with those heels and oh! Oh! 
one of her own there. A little pull down action as well to get the full impact of it. Going for another pinfall here right in front of Adriana. She has no choice but to kind of stand there idly as she is in the direct attention of the referee. They, oh! oh! Wow, is knocking Adriana off the apron. And now yeah. cutting off the ring again, just like the Borders were doing. Oh! Oh, Fish. Elena moving out of the way. Oh, God. And just lay Tiffany out after that miscalculation. Doing the wise thing to kind of get her out of Marcella's reach here. And getting now Elena. I know. It looks like Marcella's trying to get in the ring with a referee now distracted by that. Yeah, did not no. see the kicks in the corner. That might have backfired a little bit, you know. Ooh, no. Marcella, Marcella kind of leaving Tiffany there in the corner when it's, you know, a legal rule to get out of there. I should have been two. kicked away. Yeah, two yeah. count, though, nonetheless. You know, again, we're just seeing these stomps by Elena. And Tiffany, oh, finding a way to get the momentum back in her favor. Throwing Elena into the turnbuckle. And oh, hitting that huge kick right to the face. Sends her to the nope. middle of the ring. And oh, oh, double knees right to the abdomen. And signature Tiffany fashion. Another pinfall. One, two. And oh, Ooh, wow, that was one. a close one. And as you can see, Adriana looks like she's got back up onto the apron after that cheap shot earlier by Tiffany. Like she's just taking the moment here. I don't know Wait, if she's oh. attacking Marcella or not. I don't think uh -oh. she saw Adriana get brought in and oh, hitting her with the kitchen sink knee. And oh, another one. Oh, I don't think Tiffany knows where she is right now. Adriana throwing her off the ropes and oh, ducking down. And oh, looks like she's going for a clothesline, but Tiffany saw oh. it coming. Yeah, she did, and she is on the side of pure here. Could be dangerous. Oh! Oh, wait. Wait, what? Looks what like a little bit of miss. Oh, oh! Looks like some miscommunication from Team Pure. Oh and Adriana lays them both out as a result of it. I, I, I'm not really sure what happened with uh, them. I believe it looked, it looked like they were going for a tag team maneuver on the outside, but my Marcella just didn't really understand what they were going for, I, I don't think. Yeah, I had a conflicting intentions, no doubt, and as a result, definitely kind of allowed for the Border Horse here, specifically Adriana, to pick up on the advantage. But, oh no, now we're going to see these vicious knees by Adriana right into the sternum of Tiffany Arrow. And oh, picking her up for something, but Tiffany Arrow gets out of it. Oh, when Adriana, Adriana gets does. out of it. She does it. Oh, got She's the got wrist the lock. Arm. Oh, the strength of Adriana. And oh, the oh. slamming her back down. As we get a replay of this. It, yeah, it, it definitely looked like some miscommunication there. Tiffany and Marcella not entirely on the same page once again. Oh. I, yeah, I'm not really sure with this, but oh. Now, Elena trapping her in the corner for Adriana to hit that patented European uppercut of hers. That's exactly now, Elena, now the legal competitor here. You're just picking off the bones. Now she goes to the pin. Two. two. And oh, Ooh, only a very two count. close one there. And Pure is in some serious trouble. They've kind of been working against each other a little bit, and it seems like the Border Horse have been in perfect unison. Oh! Ooh. Now you spin kick by Elena again, and oh, it looks like he's just toying with her to get closer and closer to Marcella before just cutting her off. Oh yeah, just once again, preventing her from going to the tag. You can see Connor oh, pulling on her hair while Tiffany's facing her direction. Adding insult to injury. Wow, it, it, that was just a brutal move. And oh, looks like she's always making fun of Tiffany with that leg drop. And oh, oh. adding insult to injury now, just slapping the taste out of her mouth. And again.
We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We saw that Elena had the momentum before the commercial break, but Tiffany finding a way to get it in her favor, and oh, she does not have something pleasant for Elena. We got a signature Going Tiffany. To rope. Oh, driving those knees down. Oh, and this. And we saw the double knee. Oh, and this could be the end of the Border Wars top rope. We all know that signature aeroplane. Oh. oh. Lena finding a way to get the move out of the way. Want to roll up here? Up. One. No, it can't two. end like this. Two. And oh, oh, God. So close. A close one. And oh, sleeper slam by Tiffany Arrow now. Yeah, able to find the consciousness to get back up in time for Elena while she ran off the ropes and now just laying to waste. God. And oh, oh, she had something to say to Adriana, but oh. oh, Adriana was not just gonna take it. Yeah, no, the ref was paying attention it, to Elena, allowed her for the cheap shot there. For a pin now. She goes to the pin. Ooh. And two. Definitely could have been it if she had kept her attention on Elena, but I don't know. Might have taken a little bit too long there. She now tags in Marcella. Hopefully, they're on the same page now. Oh, and it looks like they are now the double STO slam. And now Marcella is nope. going to capitalize here, just raining down those punches on Elena in the middle of the yeah. ring. Yeah, just letting her hands get dirty now with those vicious punches and elbows right on top of Elena. You now it looks like she's going to make fun and of her for a little bit what she did earlier. You know, yeah, just telling her to get up, bouncing off the ropes, and oh! Oh, beautiful. Drop toe hold. I'm turning and, oh. around here. Oh. Stomped the guy. And just walking all over her as well in the process. And oh. Oh. In and out of huge drop kick. drop kick. Yeah. Elena once again getting the brunt of the damage. Pure is inflicting. Only two count once again, though, in this championship matchup. For those of you who are just tuning in, of course. Now, Marcella, and, oh, it looks like she's going to keep the momentum up, and Elena finding a way. To shut it down just like that handful of her hair, and she drags her over to the corner. And, oh, it bringing her in the corner now for Adriana to get tagged in, and oh, throwing her right into Adriana's boots. God. It's full force. And just like that. Adriana is back in as the legal member of the Border Wars, and... Oh no. And oh, we're gonna barrage off punches by Adriana. She's known for and oh! There she oh, goes, those signature no. Russian uppercuts. Wow, just leaving her dazed and confused right in the corner after that barrage of Russian uppercuts, as she likes to call them. And oh, just trying to choke the life out of Marcella. Just looking to this crowd with just the killer look. Oh yeah, she's in firm control here, and she knows that as she rolls over the lifeless body of Marcella for a pinfall to... Oh! And, wow. Just barely able to get the shoulder up there. And I, I we're seeing this with Adriana. I believe that she, she was so upset after losing those tag team championships, and I think now we're just seeing her with this cold-blooded intent right now. She just picks off the limbs of Marcella in the middle of this ring and Tiffany just has to watch. Yeah, exactly. As Marcella is being stalked now by Adriana. Oh, that knee once and, again. Oh, and another vicious clothesline by Adriana and look at her. She is so pleased with the work that she's been doing to Marcella thus far. Oh yeah, exactly. With Marcella is just dazed as you can see. And oh! oh She's going maybe for another Russian uppercut, but Marcella changes it. Backbreaker, neckbreaker. Beautiful display there, able to capitalize on the situation laid out in front of her. 
Ooh, those vicious kicks. Oh, oh my. Wow. Knockout elbow. By I don't think Adriana knows where she is. Oh, yeah. She is definitely out of it here. Oh. 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 I Hitting it with a flying knee. And oh, trying to go for a lariat to the back of the head. And oh, oh Russian roulette. Adriana with the spine. Tiffany is just... Oh wait, what? Oh, I think what? I, I think if I I saw correctly when Marcella threw Adriana in the corner, Tiffany got knocked down in the process, and I think that she might have thought that it was Marcella's doing purposely. If you take a moment to look at the highlights of this the matchup, you saw Tiffany in firm control at this point. Signature double knees to the abdomen. Although it wasn't enough to win the match at the time. Very close count. I know, and now we're just seeing this barrage of punches by Adriano and then the fury of these Russian uppercuts. We saw early on in the match, and this is really when the toll started pulling into uh, Marcella, or, or at least we thought, but we saw oh, the yeah. second life to her. She thought she could get it done trying to go for that, that back of the head lariat. But then she got hit with Russian roulette by Adriana and yeah, I think it, Tiffany just watched it happen. Own temper got the best of her when she got knocked down there. Once again, the miscommunications coming to a head and Pure has lost the championship. So the first ever two time tag team champions here on Total Knockout Society is the Border Wars. Joining alongside Juliana Conchi as being a two time champion in their own right. Man, you have to feel for this. I, I, I'm left speechless. I, you know, we've seen this tag team of Marcella and Tiffany Arrow grow, and I, I thought they were the best of friends. But we've seen now for a couple weeks just the animosity that Tiffany had been giving Marcella about messing up in matches, and I, I think we've just finally seen it come to a head at this point. Yeah, I think Tiffany has definitely had enough of the shortcomings of Marcella, and as a result of the mishap once again, they are no longer the tag team champions. And look at the look that Tiffany's just giving her. Yeah, it definitely does not look like a friendly or remorseful one, at to say the least. And Marcella's looking visibly upset after this loss. Oh, wait. Oh, what the? Oh, my. Oh, my God. And Tiffany just raining down those punches on Marcella. Yeah, you see Marcella trying to block the punches. Oh, they're supposed to be friends. What? God. What's going on? Tiffany has had enough. And oh, Marcella, of course, not knowing where she is. Uh, oh, oh come those on. Punches. It, oh my could, come god! Come on, we gotta get someone out here. Come, Tiffany is supposed to be your friend. Oh my! Oh my god! And punch after punch rained down on Marcella. Oh! Oh my! This is getting hard to watch right now, Michael. Jesus! She is just completely decimating Marcella in that ring. God. Come on, we gotta hit someone out here to help her. God, I don't know if anyone can put a stop to this. Tiffany has just completely had it with Marcella. It oh, oh the cure injector on her own tag team partner. God. Oh my. Why? I Why do this? You guys have created a tag team been building it up and Tiffany's just destroyed it could this be the end of pure as we know it Tiffany seemingly drawing the line and I don't I don't I don't know what to say it's just I, I don't I've never saw something like this coming this is probably the biggest plot twist we've ever seen here in total knockout society but I don't know what to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. As we come to the closing moments of this show, Pure is seemingly over as we know it. I'm Kane Michael. And I'm Brad Maple. And hopefully we will 
come to some sort of conclusion of this as the weeks come.